guys, it's JJing24 here today with System Test 50. And uh, first things first, um, I'm sorry that it's taken me this long to make and upload this System Test. Um, I've just been extremely busy with school, and on top of all of you know all of that stuff, my computer's hard drive just unexpectedly crapped out. So um, I couldn't really edit this on anything. But uh, here it is, and. Um, uh, first, with the panel, you notice that the battery trouble is back on it. That's because as I was uh, um, turning or preparing the panel for the system test, this wire just uh, popped out of the battery. I had it hooked in there, um, and I just didn't feel like putting it back in. Uh, so yeah, that's why that's there. Um, you'll notice that I did get resistors for the zone expander modules, so the battery trouble is currently the only trouble on the system. Um, let's see, we have that. For the, um, notification appliances, we'll start with those. I have, this is a, um, Honeywell chime strobe. Uh, it's actually made by Wheelock, just rebranded by Honeywell. Can't remember the model number on it at this minute. And then, here is a Wheelock AS. Um, the original version with the vertical strobe and why it got that new in box. And then, um... We have this smoke detector. It's actually an Anzo model, um, and I just have it on a Simplex base um, from System Test 49 because it was compatible and I didn't feel like having to switch out the base. So it's the same detector head, or not the same detector head. It's the same base, different detector head. Um, for the pull stations, this is an Edwards BG10. Uh, I forget the exact model number on this. Um, but yes, you read that right, it's Edwards. And here is a Gamo M69. Uh, I did get two of these, and I gave the other one to, sold the other one to New Age Server Alarm, and he made that in one of his mini system tests, so maybe you've see, already seen this pull station in use recently. Um, and I believe I have this system set on steady, continuous, whatever you want to call it. So we'll just start with the BG-10, and here we go. Alright, and obviously AS is a two-wire notification appliance, so the strobe's not flashing. Still going on that, though. Um, kind of... It's surprisingly bright for um, the age that it comes from. So, we'll reset this. And no, I have not wired up those um, zone expander modules yet. They're still just sitting there. Haven't really had a lot of time uh, to work on this system recently. Uh-oh. My mistake. Ugh. All right, we'll shut this up. Um, and uh, for the game, I'll and let's do the game. I'm sixty nine now. Oh man, that AS is super loud. Um, I don't know if you can even hear the chime strobe over it. Okay, let's see if I can reset this pull station without setting the alarm off again. It's gonna be kind of hard with only one hand. Um, unless. stand I have in here. Use it as a tripod. Okay, so we have this makeshift tripod set up. So, and you can see that, so here we go. Okay, because you kind of have to 
slip the cover plate um, out from under there quickly so you don't push the button down long enough so the alarm doesn't go off again. Just slide that down. And that's that. Get this music stand out of the way. And you'll have to excuse the mess. I'm in the process of uh, documenting my collection with pictures through the website. Um, let's see, so we did those. I guess what's left is a smoke detector. And I believe this is a magnet activated one. Um, eh. A lot of crap in the way. <laughs> Just remember where I stick it. I think that's it. Hmm, I can hear it. Uh, but whatever, I'll just uh, test the smoke detector during system test 51. And we'll hit reset. And that strobe's still going. for that to reset. Alright, I'm going to be getting some surprises soon. Um, not necessarily for this system, but it will still be cool to see. So, uh, be sure to make a video of those surprises when they get here, um, which should be soon. So, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day.